Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Front Mission 3, brought to you as a Patreon reward by Zappa Slave. Ald says, where's the transport? It should be close by. I found it. Follow me. That's not like following her has gotten it, gotten you into any uh, uh, trouble before. More enemies? Maybe you should be running? I don't know, just saying. Run. A transport helicopter? Well, it doesn't seem to be coming after us. What are you doing? We don't have time to stand around. You like to take charge, don't you? What are you babbling about? You want to get yelled at again? All right, pull out. Oh yeah, that's not suspicious at all. This is the main gate. The target has escaped on a transport. Pursue them at once, but avoid direct combat. Capture them when they leave the city. Roger. Now loading. All right, let's go ahead and get a save. Okay, finish saving. Okay, Northern Yokosuka. Uh, I guess we're heading towards uh, Kirishima Industries. That seems dangerous for Kirishima Industries. Are we safe now? I think so. We can't stay here long. What a bunch of stalkers. Emma, there's no time. Tell us what happened. I guess you guys have the right to know. Well, yeah, considering that you dragged us into all of that. I work for the USN. I do research for the military. A device in development was stolen a while ago. I've been searching for it with FAA FAI. Then I heard about the explosion in Yokosuka. The accident is related to your device? That's all I can tell you for now. Did the JDF steal the device from the USN? You saw it? It's not normal. The JDF is hiding something. Yeah, they did try to kill us. Well, you had broke into their base! Now, Elisa is missing because of them. You don't know that! <laughs> oh, this is... Main character, all a little thick-headed. Just gonna say that right now. Let's talk to Emma. Elisa? Elisa is his, is his sister. They're not really related, though. Shut up! We don't even know if she's been hurt. Don't worry too much. But she was inside the base! Yeah, the base is a big place! Elisa's fine. She's smarter than you. It's not hard. Can't you ask your dad to do something? No, he'd never help me. Man, lighten up. He'd kill his family for the JDF. He might have been the culprit behind the accident. All right, now I think that's going... Man, you just look for that conclusion that's like a mile leap and take that jump, don't you? Then again, on the other hand, this is a video game. They never say anything that doesn't have some sort of meaning, but still. All right, fine. We need to get out of here. You can come with me or escape on your own. Wait, you're leaving us? We should go with you. Besides, I have more questions for Emma. Yeah, I agree. Okay then, let's get out of Yokosuka. Where to? My party is waiting for me in... Hanmokufuka... Hanmokufuto, Yokohama. Okay. I have a little bit of problem with Japanese words that are more than four syllables. <laughs> Let's equip before we leave. We can set up the Wanzers here. Oh, you suck at setting up. Get Emma to teach you. Hey, you want me to do it? Shut up! I'll teach you whatever you, whatever you don't know. Try setting up now. Dropped a space there, by the way. 
Alright, setup tutorial. Basic controls. Select Wanzer to set up. We've got a Wanzer stock of, a, of the Zappa. How to equip Wanzers. In setup or shop, select a machine or pilot to set up. Select a part, then select equip, remove, etc. To sell, choose a part and select sell. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I hadn't been uh, blowing up the uh, uh, ones that were surrendering, we might have gotten them and we could have sold them. Let's try equipping. Select from the shop list to buy. Select from the stock list to sell. Select a Wanzer to set up and press X. The menu opens. Now select Setup. Select Exchange Machines to exchange selected Wanzer with another. Parts and Weapon Tutorial. Parts is used to create a machine. Weapon displays weapons for the hands and shoulders. Let's change the body. Select Parts, then Body. The list shows equipped parts. This machine is equipped with the Zenislev. Switch the list with L1, R1, stock list, stores, spare parts. Equipped list shows all parts equipped and in stock. Select desired part to equip. Changing parts changes the shape. Changed parameters are displayed. Press X to confirm. Another menu pops up. Since the selected part is equipped by another pilot, this will change his her machine also. Exchange changes equipment. Exchange again to restore the original setting. Grade parts on the list cannot be equipped. This part makes the machine go over its weight limit. Not having enough funds can also prevent parts from being equipped. Legs and arms also can be changed by following the same steps. Let's change weapons. Select R hand under weapon. It's doing this on its own, by the way. Press X to see the menu. To remove an equipped weapon, select the weapon and press X. Parts can be moved to stock or sold. The selling price is displayed at the top. That's all for this section. Let's return to the first menu. Oh, are you actually done? You are done. All right. Uh, parts display. Parts data tutorial. Body data. Middle row displays remaining weight and melee. Bottom row displays hit points, weight, and power. Remaining weight shows how much of the weight allowance remains. Melee shows the amount of damage that can be inflicted. The higher the melee percentage, the higher the damage. Hit points shows durability of the part. Weight also uh, weight shows the weight of the part. Power shows the power of the part. Bodies and backpacks have power. Hold down triangle to display battle skills and their activation con condition. The arm data is displayed the same way as the body data, except accuracy is shown in place of power. Weapons can be equipped on either arm. Ooh, sorry. Legs data include move, type, booster, and dash. Move shows how many squares it can move on, over normal terrain. <coughs> type indicates leg part types, such as two legs or four legs. Four legs good, two legs better. Booster shows how many levels it can climb. Dash shows how far it can dash on level ground. Backpack data include capacity and additional power. Capacity shows how many items it can carry. Additional power and the body's power together make up the machine's total power. A backpack is either a capacity or additional power type. That's all for this section. Let's return to the first menu. Weapon display. Weapon setup tutorial.
Rifle data. Me melee, uh, melee and gun weapons have the same display. Type is the weapon type. These are melee, machine gun, shotgun, flamethrower, and missile. Ooh, flamethrowers. Uh, is it P for piercing? Looking at uh, range 1 to 6 for the rifle. Attack 58 times 1. I guess that's the damage times 1 hit. Class is P for pierce, I for impact, and F for fire. Weight is the weight of selected weapon. Accuracy is the base accuracy for each shot. Range shows the effective range of a weapon. Attack shows the attack power and number of bullets fired in a single attack. AP shows the amount of AP used in one battle. Accuracy down shows the amount of accuracy loss over distance. Ammo shows the amount of ammunition. Infinity symbol shows there is no ammo limit. Flamethrower data. The display is very similar to that of the rifle. Rounds per AP used shows the AP cost of firing a shot. The player can increase the AP to inflict more damage. Doesn't seem that, like flamethrowers would be all that great. At least amongst against the things that we've been facing, maybe. This is the shield data. Durability shows the number of times it can withstand an, an attack. Damage minus 50% means the damage is reduced by 50%. This is the missile data. Range displays 3 to 9, meaning enemies within 1 or 2 squares cannot be targeted. This is the grenade data. Attack range reads 5 by 5, meaning it hits a 5 by 5 area in one attack. Ooh. That's all for this section. Let's return to the first menu. Alright, back. Uh, let's see, setup. Alright, so let's take a look at, uh, at the Zappa that we picked up here. Uh, the body is a Castle M2, hit points 464, weight is 39, remaining weight is 78. Is that, uh, different per unit? Wait, 20. It, or is that 20 remaining? Ooh, I can change the color. Light blue, sand yellow, dark green, red brown, white brown, black, red, yellow-green. Doesn't really look like yellow-green to me, but okay. Dark blue, yellow, totally be a construction mech. Purple, green, desert camo, pink, totally make one pink. Gotta make one pink. Urban camo, orange, forest camo, blue, and we can change the machine name. Uh, pilot computer. Uh, we can upgrade the computer, okay. Battle skill. Function, no special features. All right, I, I mean, I, I get the uh, how to use, how to do this, but I don't really get, uh, um, I suppose I can divide it into parts. That'd be rude to uh, Zappa, though. Oops, I do want to go into uh, setup. All right, well, let's uh, take a look at uh, Emma's uh, Drake M2C, because I would like to get it a better weapon. Can I not? Um, I thought we could, uh, purchase stuff or something like that. Uh, 
I can sell, but can I not buy? Hmm. Let's see, what does it have? It has hard blow, nothing on the shoulder, hard blow, nothing on the shoulder. So is hard blow actually an item? Doesn't really look like it. Oh, product list. Okay, so can we not actually... So maybe we can't actually buy anything right now. Okay. So that's the quill. That is really heavy, and I assume that that's why she doesn't have anything else uh, equipped. Uh, let's see... Oops. Pretty bad at jumping back out of that. Alright, let's see. Legs. Uh, move two. Yeah, it would be really nice to... Um... Alright, let's see. What am I doing? Uh... This is the... Is Castle M2 the one that, uh, is on Zappa? Let me, uh, let me check. Yeah, Castle M2. I think I want to put those on, uh, um, Emma's unit then. Ah! Alright, uh, weight would go down a little bit, but I think that's okay. I mean, it doesn't look like it would be over the, uh, um, limit. Uh, hit points would go up, it looks like. Move would go up. Yeah, let's exchange that. Alright, so... Let's see. Parts. Legs. That's now the Drake MC... M, uh, 2C. Yep, move 2. Alright. Alright, I think that's pretty good there. Um, what about arms? Uh, has some pretty good hit points. Weight 15, accuracy... It looks a bit better. Accuracy would go down. Hit points would go up, I guess. Can't do the weight. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, I, I'm not I'm not really reading those numbers very well, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's take a look at this again. Uh, yeah, so I think that hit points would go up a bit, but I think we'll leave this.
It does look like we can't buy any more items, though, right now, which does kind of suck. I would like to buy more. Yeah, huh? This is nothing uh, much to do. Let's, uh, let's change the color. I will go with dark green. That doesn't really look like dark green. Uh, what was the green? Regular green. Let's go with regular green. There we go. Uh, let me check. I guess that is... It's not that much darker. Don't really like the forest camo. I'll go with the green. Emma's is light blue, that's fine. Ryogo, you can have... Let's see, you're sand yellow. I don't want sand yellow. Nah, not red brown, not white. Nah. I could go with black. Black might be good. Well, there's dark blue. Is there regular blue? Let's compare the regular blue. I like the regular blue. We'll go with that. It's a little bit of... It seems a little purpley to me, but that's okay. Alright, uh, I don't know that there's much else to do here right now. It doesn't look like we can actually go uh, buy anything, so let's go ahead and save it. And let's see if we can get into uh, one more... Um, one more battle. Make this uh, final episode go a little bit long. Uh, this has always been a... Kind of a... a a short look at more of a, more than a, um, a full playthrough. Um, it, it does seem like a fun game. I may circle back and pick it up again later. Um, main character isn't exactly growing on me. He's kind of doltish. Wait a minute. Oh boy, are we going to get to... Uh, Blow up some uh, pat labors? Those are totally pat labors. This isn't good. It's a police checkpoint. You think they're looking for us? Probably. I think we can break through with the transport. Let's try to avoid a fight. We're breaking through. You want to make enemies of the police too? Isn't that uncool? Uh-oh. Special Forces Pilot. Hunter 05 here. Target acquired. Commencing attack. A JDF helicopter? They found us. They're civilians. Why are they attacking? Um, maybe we should have, like, you know, slammed on the gas? We're gonna get wasted! Hurry it up! Oh. Well. Gah. Uh, Emma, you okay? Yep, Emma's okay. Let's go! Uh, actually that portrait doesn't look so hot. If they mean business, they'll get the business into my Wanzer! Oh, that sounds horrible. Oh, that is, that has got to be a euphemism. All right, let's see. What are we uh, dealing with here? All right, so there we are. Uh, helicopter is up here. It has missiles. Only has three, though, so there's that. Can he actually blow up the, the trucks? Oh, it doesn't show up as an item. Um, I, I don't know if I want to blow up these guys. Do I have to blow them up? All right, so we got a helicopter there. We've got another helicopter there, and another helicopter there. I feel like focusing on the helicopters is probably a good thing, 
Although, I am not sure if... Yeah, it doesn't look like we can actually get through that barrier. I mean, this is, like, blocked off here. So, I am not exactly sure how we're going to be, uh... Handling that. Maybe if we get up next to it, we can uh, attack it or break it down. Um, but I think I want to go after the helicopter up here first. Probably would help to be on the uh, shotgun. Ah, that is actually kind of a tough... Uh, Tough hit for a helicopter. Ah, better legs. So good. I wish he had a better, I wish he had more weapons, though. Ejected! How do you eject out of that? Where? Oh! Ah, okay. That makes sense. Um. Hmm. Well. He's got a shield. That's kind of, uh, unfortunate. Well, I guess I'll shoot. Yeah, it basically halves the damage. Coming over, you're going to shoot with uh, that. Alright, we'll counter with that. wonder if you can defend with uh, uh, against a counter. Nope! Excellent. Ah, no counter. Oh, don't baton me. It's very rude. You cut back into your helicopter. That that ejection uh, mechanic for the helicopter was a little bit funny. Uh, I will I will not lie. Hello. There, have a shotgun right to the body. Nice. Boom. <laughs> uh, let's see. I kind of need to get over there, so. Let me, let me, uh, let's see. Alright, if I get over here. Oh, I don't have enough AP. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright. He ejected. I guess I will be going after these guys. Uh, let's counter with a hard blow. Ow, 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 ow. And make a weak punch. Yep, we got back in. You are going to shoot me with rocket. Oh! She ejected. Wow. Set escape point. I guess that's the only option. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Come on, miss. Nice. Well, that's our first ejection. Uh, whoops. Wrong thing. Let's uh, switch to the Bone Buster, I think. Can't block against that. That's good to know. Doesn't look like it, at least. That was still a lot of damage. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and board it. There we go. There goes his arm. Ow. Alright, counter with hard blow. Ow! Stunned, damn it. Uh, let's counter with the uh, machine gun, I think. I'll take him out, that's unfortunate. You're gonna attack her again? Alright, probably should not have moved her so far forward then. Ow. Well, her legs are almost destroyed. Uh, let's just go ahead and attack this guy with, uh... Oh, tackle! Attack back! Shouldn't you be destroyed by now? I guess I'll take the tackle. I don't know what exactly what that is. You're stunned. You're not doing much for me. How are you not dead yet? Seriously, you got five hit points on that arm left. Uh, I want to I want to blow this guy up. You done piss me off, coppers. All right, you're moving away. That's probably wise. This is not good. Well, there goes her uh, left arm. Is that her missile arm? I hope that was not her missile. I think that was her missile arm. Damn it. Oh, jeez. You're still stunned. Um, well, that's not good. Alright, moving her forward was a really bad idea. Can I do anything here? Attack. Yep, okay. So that is how you get through here. Okay. Uh, let's move back. We'll probably come forward, but... Um, yep, we can't uh, do anything. Let's uh, just go ahead and end right now. You can attack that guy. Badly. You're escaping. You're going after her again. Damn it. Are you going to go after her? Yep, you're going after her as well. Well! I um, honestly cannot believe that she's still up. Um, let's see. All right. Only a 38% chance? Ugh. That's some at least. Nope. Oh, yeah, both of her arms are down. Her leg is down. She is kind of screwed here. Not sure what this is going to uh, mean in terms of... Wow, you can actually... Oh. Well, I mean, it makes sense, but I kind of figured that the uh, it would count as a uh, an occupied tile. But... All right. 
Rate of fire up, excellent. Zoom one. Get an improved, uh, improved accuracy there. Take that out. Nice. Guess I don't need to get that. I don't know exactly what that system is. Oh, you actually did escape. All right. Kind of a shame, but uh, luckily you decided to go after uh, Ryoga rather than uh, uh, Emma. I like that. Uh, let's move over here. Because then I can probably get right there. Zoom one, excellent. Nice. Take him out. Oh, come on, get some. Okay, well, we did take him out. Good. Stage clear. Well, I uh, I think I'm going to get less than a gold on this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there's a bronze. <laughs> I was waiting for something like that to come in. I was waiting for one of those. Figured I had to get one of those uh, sooner or later. Seems like they intend to stop us no matter what. But what do we do now? The trailer's toast. Guess we have to get another one. We'll have to keep going with the Wanzers until then. Um, except for the fact that uh, Emma's is a little bit worse for wear. Intermission. Uh, we can set up here. Is uh, is this actually going to be showing up as injured? I wonder. Let's see. Um, it doesn't say anything about that. So I am guessing... I'm guessing that, um... That's not the, the case. That, uh, every... We get, we get healed up. Which is pretty good. Uh, definitely very, very good. All right, so there's double assault and tackle one. Okay. So does double assault take uh, two slots, and I've only got one slot left? So is that what the green markers mean? I think that's what it means. I don't really understand what these uh, uh, things are. I guess we just learn them as we go, though. Okay, well, and I don't know if there's just a way to trigger that other than having enough uh, AP available. Actually, let's uh, let's see. Stock list, product list. Equipped list, no. All right, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that we can't buy anything right now. All right, well, uh, that'll be it for this. Um... If you've enjoyed uh, uh, Front Mission 3, if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, let me know. Uh, if uh, people uh, got excited about this and uh, enjoyed it, then uh, I'll definitely be more likely to circle back to it. Um, it is something that I always meant to play. Uh, I just never quite got around to it. Um, so there's always a, cha a possibility that, uh, um, you know, even if people, you know, don't say much about it, I may circle back anyway. Um... But, uh, yeah, uh, once again, I'd like to uh, thank Zappa Slave for um, becoming a patron on Patreon. Uh, if any of you also uh, want to see me play a few hours of a game, um, there's the option to do so on Patreon. Uh, there are other rewards available as well. Um, 
One thing to uh, mention is that, uh, I, I mean, I do have the ads turned on. I'm getting a little bit of money from that. Uh, it does take a lot of time and effort to get these uh, episodes recorded and uploaded. Um, I put them up there. I mean, they're not, like, behind any kind of paywall or anything like that. You don't have to actually be a, a Patreon member to get the videos. There is that possibility, and I, that's kind of disconcerting to me. So um, I, I'll never do that. Um, but the thing is, is that with the, uh, the Patreon, even that $1 level, that's already more than you could ever get, I, I could ever, uh, um, earn off of, uh, video plays for your, uh, views. So you, I mean, you could watch everything that I produce every single month, and that $1 would still be more than what I'd get off the, uh, uh ad revenue, uh, and that's assuming that you even have uh, uh, ad block turned off, which obviously many people uh, don't. So, you know, if you're really enjoying these things, if you want to see more stuff like this, I would appreciate that, uh, um, you know, patronage on uh, Patreon, even the $1 level. The rewards for that, priority naming on anything, like on Stellaris, um, you give me names and you are certainly going to get in there whatever you want, that sort of thing. Um, if I play uh, an XCOM or XCOM-like game again, the original, the don't don't look to the uh, new one. Not a big fan of the way those are, are designed. Um, priority naming on those, you'd always have a character. Um, I've got enough uh, subscribers now uh, compared to when I first played XCOM and Terror from the Deep, that I might not be able to cycle through names uh, the way I did with that. So um, if I do ever go back and revisit that game, you know, try to do a quick playthrough, have some more fun, maybe on a harder level, open XCOM, that sort of thing, um, patrons would be guaranteed to always be on... Uh, 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 in the base, have named soldiers. If they die, they get renamed, that sort of thing. Um... So, you know, I mean, it's a way you can uh, give back for uh, enjoyment. And, um, you know, I mean, obviously, if not, that's fine, too. Uh, it's just a, a little thing. I mean, $1 a month isn't really that much. Um, 12 bucks a year, and already that's more than uh, any ad revenue that, that I could possibly get uh, from you. So, uh, if you're enjoying this stuff, I would appreciate it. If you want to see more of uh, Front Mission... Leave a comment. If you want to guarantee that I play more Front Mission, there are the higher levels of uh, um, patronage. You can choose this game again. You can choose other games. Uh, there are some requirements, uh, uh, some restrictions, I should say, on what I will play. Um, I don't want to play, like, sports games because I don't like sports games, but uh, I'm pretty flexible. If you want to see me play a game that I have uh, said multiple times I'm bad at, you could choose that. You could see me fail. If you want a couple hours of me failing repeatedly at uh, action games, for example, you can do that. That can be your reward. I'm fine with that. So it's a, it's something to think about. Um, once again, this has been brought to you by uh, Zappa Slave. This is his reward for uh, his level of patronage. I very much appreciate his support. I appreciate all of your support. Um... And uh, I will see you in uh, the regularly scheduled Let's Plays. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, um, this uh, quick run-through of the first couple hours, the first few hours of uh, Front Mission 3. Thanks a lot, guys.